Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog, Dan. Hey. Thank you for tuning in today and watching our video. If you haven't had a chance to do so, please subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you get an email letting you know that we uploaded something to our channel, a new video. And that way, um, it makes it really convenient for you so you don't have to go fumbling around searching YouTube for predictions and searching for our latest video and having to worry about, you know, is there something new out or, you know, it just makes it real simple, really convenient, it's free and it's automatic. So if you hit subscribe up on top or if you hit subscribe here with a, with a link we'll put, um, you'll just get that automatic convenient email and, uh, and then you can get, uh, you know, the, the automatic uh, notification. Now, if you already have a YouTube channel, if you're already active on YouTube and you already subscribe to channels, you'll get, uh, by subscribing, you'll get the, uh, the automatic uh, feed. So you'll get the feed up there. It'll show MMA Dogs release a new video, and then you can check it out from there. Please check out our website, MMADogs.com. M-M-A-D-A-W-G-S.com. Mm -hmm. yep. It has all of our predictions, past, present, and future events, including some we haven't even done a video for. So you can check that out and see what we really think about all the fights and not just the ones that you see on online. Now, we also have our MMA betting strategy up there. We have our proven track record mm -hmm. and other helpful links that can help you with your predictions for those fights. Yeah, exactly. It's a great website, so please check that out. And now we'll move on to Twitter. Um, we both really like Twitter. It makes it really convenient to stay up to date with what your uh, favorite fighters are doing with the upcoming fights. So, for example, we had Michael Bisping, who's got about 130,000 followers. Demetrius Johnson, who has about 29,000 followers. And Andre Pedaneris, the head coach at Novo Nyao. So, he coaches Jose Aldo, Honey Marks, Henan Burrell. He's got about 11,000 followers. They all liked our video, so they shared it with all their friends. So, it's a great way to communicate with the coaches of the MMA, the, um, all the athletes, and it's just a great way to keep in touch with all the people who also like MMA like us. So we'll, we'll also update it with, with pictures and different things that's, that are going on with, uh, with our website and everything that has to do with MMA dogs. Um, so it's a great way, you simply follow, free, and uh, it's at MMADogs.com for the website and at MMADogs for the Twitter. I know a lot of you guys already have Facebook. If you want updates there, please like our page. And in addition to that, you all get to see when we uh, update, like when we're at a fight or something, we up upload pictures or, or some kind of like news about what happened or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, that we might have witnessed that you might not get to see on TV. So that's something to look out for too if you want to look at us on Facebook. Yeah. So Twitter and Facebook, it's real nice because it's uh, up to the minute, you know, direct access instead of, you know, sometimes we have to edit videos and edit things to put them on our website with Twitter and Facebook by following on Twitter by liking our Facebook, you get that instant, you know, instant gratification, that instant feed. And uh, iTunes, we also have a podcast on iTunes. Uh, by subscribing to that, you'll get an automatic uh, notification as well. You can download our, our podcast and then you can take it with you. So if you're in the car, bored out of your mind, driving to work, or if you're at lunch and you're just like, man, I want to hear what's the latest in MMA news, the latest in predictions. I want to um, you know, have some food for thought. Maybe, maybe you're, you're developing your own opinion on some fights that you would like to hear. Maybe somebody else's opinion, something like that. So that's, that's what's really nice about podcasts. You can take them with you. You can listen to them, you know, while you're making lunch, while you're having, uh, your breakfast or whatever. And, uh, you know, just put it on your iPhone, your iP your uh, iPod, your MP3 player, your smartphone, load it up on there. You can take it with you. Um, so yeah, MMA dogs, same thing, the podcast. And that's, I like the podcast because it's more um, unrehearsed, just kind of us talking and, and giving our opinion, and it's uh, very nice and convenient. And then last but not least, my dog were, and I were talking about this, is we have, uh, we really enjoy reading the comments. So please leave a comment, whether it's your first time leaving a comment or you've commented on you know, all our videos, uh, we really appreciate it. Please tell us where you're from. Then you get to see you know people from all around the world are watching, which is a lot of fun. We really we really enjoy that. So uh, and, and it's free, you know. It's just a way whether you agree with our uh, picks or whether you have a different view, you view the fight differently. It doesn't matter, you know. We really appreciate it, and it gives a, a great opportunity for all of us to discuss MMA, discuss the latest topics. So please leave a comment and uh, subscribe. Check out all of our uh, our website, social media podcasts, all that good stuff. Super Bowl 47. 
in New Orleans, Louisiana. Who's going to make it? We got the Patriots going up against the Ravens in the AFC. And in the NFC, we got the Niners going up against the Falcons. So, in the AFC, let's discuss that first. I really like what I've seen in the playoffs so far and what I saw in the regular season out of the Patriots. So, out of those two teams... Plus, you got to keep in mind, I mean, I really like to see what's, I really like what I've seen from Ray Lewis and the Ravens and the defense and the heart and the, and the, just the guts that that team has displayed. But man, they, they played in the first round of the playoffs. Now they just played in the second round of the playoffs and a lot of props to them for doing what they've done. But once they go up against the Patriots, they're going to hit a brick wall. I mean, Tom Brady in that offense and just. Bill Belichick, that coaching staff, that young defense. I really see the Patriots advancing to the Super Bowl in the AFC. What do you see in the AFC, dog? Yeah, I actually like the 49ers to beat the... Um, who are they playing next week? The Niners versus Falcons. The Falcons, yeah. The Falcons narrowly escaped uh, defeat today. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, I was really, I really wanted the Seahawks to win. Just just as bad as my dog, but but it is what it is. And, you know, the Falcons, no disrespect to them, but what were they thinking? Timing out with, like, 13 seconds left and giving, after kicking the field goal, giving the Seahawks the chance to squib kick, or, I'm sorry, they squib kicked it to the Seahawks. They gave the Seahawks the chance to hail Mary in the end zone when they should have just waited till the clock ran out, kicked it, and the game's over regardless. Because they basically said, we're either going to lose on this field goal or we're going to win and give our opponents another shot. They could have won it with that one if they just waited. So that was a very bad call by whoever didn't call time. Whoever called timeout 10 seconds too soon. Very bad decision. I'm going to say 49ers against the Patriots, just like my dog here. But um, it's all going to depend on what happens next week uh, for who's actually going to win the Super Bowl. So we'll Yeah, so, so, so touch on that, dog. I mean, the... Props to the Seahawks, uh, Marshall, Marshawn Lynch and Russell Wilson and, and uh, Pete Carroll and all that whole uh, coaching staff because, uh, you know, they, they're another team that played in the first round, now second round, and almost they should have won that game. Uh, but, you know, of course, that's in the history now. With Russell Wilson being a rookie quarterback, I can only see them getting better. Uh, that defense is playing really well. But the Falcons, you know, they're, they're a really good team. Now, with them going up against the 49ers, 49ers, man, they have some real weapons up there in San Francisco. Colin Kaepernick, you know, being the quarterback that he's been, you know, proving to be here, and Frank Gore, and, and that defense is just so good. I would really love to see, and I'm going to predict that we have a Super Bowl between the New England Patriots and the San Francisco 49ers. And I really cannot wait for that. It's going to be just an incredible, I mean, I could just see that that Patriot high-powered offense going up against that ridiculous defense of the 49ers, and I really hope we get to see that, um, but you know, we got to wait and see what happens next week. So, yeah, check out all of our, um, you know, subscribe, the website, Twitter, Facebook, our podcast, and then please comment, and uh, last but not least, we'd like to thank all you guys. We have a a pretty good following going. We've got some guys, some people who uh, we recognize their names. My dog and I were talking like, you know, we get to see these people. Oh, they usually comment on our on our video, so we appreciate that. And, uh, and let's get on to some predictions.